If you've clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what to expect when you come here to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour here in London. Well, this is the right video for you. We'll be going through. In a second, we're gonna show you everything that you need to know here about Harry Potter. So let's go on with the video. Upon arrival at Leavesden Studios, you'll first be greeted by some iconic chess pieces outside the front from the Philosopher's Stone. Before starting your tour, we recommend turning up no later than an hour before your allocated time slot. As you enter the main hall before your tour, you can pick up a digital guide for £4.95 or a group one for £12.95, which is valid for up to three to four visitors, saving up to £6.85. These can be pre-booked with your tickets or hired upon arrival at the desk. Languages include English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Russian, Spanish, Chinese, Mandarin, Brazilian and Portuguese. A cloakroom is on site and is free of charge to store coats and bags. Just before you start the main tour, you'll be greeted with the Ukrainian Iron Belly Dragon hanging above you. There are free food and drinks areas before you start your tour. The first cafe is the Hub Cafe, which serves speciality Starbucks hot and cold drinks, grab and go sandwiches and bakery items. The second one is the Chocolate Frog Cafe. This serves a selection of sweets and treats, and it also includes speciality hot chocolate ice creams and a range of cakes. The final one in this area is the food hall. This serves breakfasts, hot and cold dishes, sandwiches, as well as a selection of drinks and a full bakery. Now you will begin your tour. You will see the cupboard under the stairs at the Dursley's house while you wait with your group. You will now enter into the Great Hall. You will depart from your group and you can now explore at your own leisure. We were here for the Dark Arts Halloween event. More details can be found on the website which is in the description below. During this event they dressed the Grand Hall with over 100 pumpkins floating above a spooky feast as seen in the Philosopher's Stone. This great hall was used to shoot all eight of the Harry Potter films where you can see a great variety of character costumes. You can pick up your complimentary activity passport to enhance your visit from any member of staff during your tour. The passport includes a golden snitch hunt, puzzles and trivia. There is also space for stamps that can be collected throughout the tour, such as Platform 9 and 3 quarters and Gringotts Bank.
As part of the defence of the dark arts at Hogwarts, students will be able to see the secrets behind the ridiculous spell and a selection of props from Professor Lupin's class such as Boggart Wardrobe. Keep an eye out for the Death Eaters procession through the studio in an intimidating display of wand power, showcasing authentic costumes as seen on screen. But please note some of the processions do include loud noises and some flashing lights. You can even practice wand combat against the Death Eaters that was choreographed from the Order of the Phoenix and the Deathly Hallows and shows you the importance of wand combat and the physical element of casting a spell. If you'd like to take your experience to the next level, they have green screen effects where you can fly a broomstick over London, or if that doesn't tickle your fancy, you can ride the Hogwarts Express with your friends to Hogwarts Castle. There are other interactive displays, such as pretending to be a first year at Hogwarts and learning to pick up your first broom with some magic. No such thing, there's no age limit on the other. I'll be ready to see. You need more conviction than that, sir, otherwise it just might not work. Come on. Come on. No, you didn't do it well enough. You need to do it with more power. More up. That was better. See what you can do if you put your mind to it. Now, can you make it go down? Down. Yes. Very forceful.
The Backlot Cafe is located halfway through your tour. Hot food is served from the opening of the tour and remains open throughout the day. They serve breakfast until 11.30am and thereafter they serve the lunch menu. During our visit we had the vegan chilli dog which came with fries and cost £12.95 each. You can also get the world famous butter beer from the Backlot Cafe which is a non-alcoholic beverage which comes in a souvenir cup and cost £6.95. Butterbeer is suitable for those with wheat, gluten and nut allergies, but is not suitable for vegans or those with lactose intolerances. We of course had to have the butterbeer ice cream, which cost £4.95 in a waffle cone, and you must try it on your visit. Outside the Backlot Cafe, you will have a view of the night bus used in a Prisoner of Azkaban. You will also see the Weasley's house in a miniature scaled version called the Burrow. Opposite from this, you will see the walkway from Hogwarts, which are used to film the surrounding green screens to and from the Hogwarts grounds and Hogwarts castle. Harry Potter's house, or known as the Dursleys of Privet Drive, is also accessible and you can view scenes from the letters coming down the chimney from Philosopher's Stone and a scene from the Prisoner of Azkaban where Harry blows up his auntie. New for 2022 is Professor Sprout's Greenhouse, where students were taught herbology lessons from Professor Sprout. Be sure to pull out a potted mandrake, but beware, their scream is not for the faint-hearted.
For all of you who have made it this far in a video and you found it very helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more Warner Bro studio tour, we did go to the one in Los Angeles back in July. And if you want to see more of our vlogs, I recommend you hitting our playlist up on the right. If not, if you do want to see the Warner Brothers Studio Tour where you get to see more stuff around from Marvel, then click the one on the left and we'll see you soon for another video. Bye.